y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Metropolis Collection for Fall Winter 2018 from Assert Colors. These are available right now and these were sent to me for review. So I'll go ahead and get right into these swatches. So first up is Minetta and this polish is described as a medium pink nude cream nail polish. So this one is super, super close to being my mannequin hands perfect nude. If you have a lot of pink in your skin tone, I think this is going to be beautiful for you, but I can definitely see it being flattering across the board. So here's a look at how it swatches on my natural nail. These creams are just fantastic, very creamy, easy to work with, and they are fairly well opaque. I did have a slight amount of streaking here, so I'm going to go ahead and complete this first coat let it dry down and then show you how it built up for me with that second coat so here you can see a little bit of visible nail line there disappearing completely with this second coat it does bring this polish easily and completely opaque it also does dry down to a beautiful glossy finish and I am just overall in love with it such a classy shade and perfect for all year round so here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before that glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting and then this is my final swatch photo at an angle under that same artificial lighting. So next up is the red of the collection and obviously this is toward the top of my top pick. So this one is Famous Original. It's described as a deep red brown cream and nail polish. So this one does have a lot of those burnt brown tones to really tone it down. It is super, super pretty on the nail. So here's a look at that first easy coat. This one does go on nice and glossy, really smooth. Again, it's just not quite opaque in one coat, so I do recommend letting it dry down and going in for that second, but that second coat is gonna be like magic and bring it completely opaque. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one dry down so you can see a peek at that and then show you how it builds up with that second coat. It just takes away any of the unevenness and visible nail line I have left. It makes for a beautiful, glossy, finish. This is very much a fall tone color. I am loving it for this autumn and I think it's going to be great for nail art as well. So here's a look at that completed mini at two coats before that glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. And then this is my final swatch photo at an angle again under that same artificial lighting. So if you're more into oranges but still love a burnt autumn type color, this is going to be a perfect shade for you. So this is a Bowery and this is described as a burnt orange cream nail polish. I think that this one is a very easy to wear orange if you are kind of unsure about wearing bright colors, especially as we get into the colder seasons, this is such a great option. So here's a look at how it applied with that first easy coat. Again, not quite opaque, really, really close though. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this coat, let it dry down and show you how it built up for me with that second coat. This second coat for sure brings this polish completely opaque. Pretty much across the board, these are gonna be two coat polishes, very easy to work with creams and just beautiful and stunning on the nail. Again, it does dry down to a high gloss finish. So here's a look at that complete and mani. Had two coats before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial lighting. And then here is my final swatch photo at an angle under that same artificial lighting. So this next polish may be a little bit of a controversial shade. It's one of those really pretty ugly colors, but it's such a fun look. So this one is called Walk on the Wild Side, which is completely appropriate. It's described as a rich olive green brown cream. So you do have all of those olive tones in there working along with those brown tones. This first coat does go on super smooth. It is quite sheer here though. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this coat. It is not the most flattering at one. I definitely do recommend letting it dry down and then building it up with a second easy coat. So here's a quick look at what the second coat does. It builds up super, super well on itself. It is completely opaque in just two coats. If you go super, super thin, you may end up needing a third, but honestly, two coats is where it's at with this one. Again, a gorgeous high gloss finish. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial lighting and then once more at an angle under that same artificial lighting. So next up we have a Rockaway and this polish is described as a dusty teal cream nail polish. This type of shade I almost see as a neutral like I can wear this with pretty much anything and it is flattering across all seasons. Just a really cool color. So here's a look at that first easy coat. Again this one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat but I am going to go ahead and complete it, let it dry down and then show you how it built up for me with that second coat. I really don't have any issues with any of these polishes beyond just needing to go in for that quick second coat. I didn't have any flat 
cutting or staining at all and this formula goes exactly where you put it. I do have kind of a deep sidewall there and I do have an issue sometimes with polish getting in there and getting hard to clean out. I didn't have that issue at all with this collection. So this does dry down a tad bit darker than it looked in my lab swatches. Really, really beautiful and pretty much fall appropriate for sure. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle underneath that artificial lighting at two coats. So the last polish I have today is called Carnegie and it is described as a pale sage green cream nail polish. So it is looking very, very light here. It does have those beautiful pale sage tones that really come out on the nail. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how it applied for me on my natural nails. So here's a look at that first easy coat. Even though it is a lighter color, it it still goes on really smooth. Good opacity, maybe just a little bit of streaking. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this coat and then let it dry down and show you how it built up for me with a second. So here's a look at that second. Again, no issues at all. It is completely opaque in just two. With these sage colors and my pink or red undertones, sometimes I can feel that it makes me a little bit what they call lobster claw. It brings out the red tones in my hands, but I did not have that issue with this polish. So here's a look at my complete amini. Had two coats before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial lighting and that is my final swatch photo. So that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Metropolis 2018 collection. These are available right now. I'll go ahead and link them down below. If you'd like, you can also follow me on Instagram at Sloppy Swatches for more. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.